recorded live in Houston, Texas. Welcome to the Papa Jeff's America podcast. Continuing the conversation one podcast at a time, we're having a conversation about what's going on in our world, politics, government, current world events, things you want to talk about with commentary, exhilarating guests, and what would a broadcast be without Papa Jeff's classic old guy humor? It'd be like a day without sunshine. The real question is, is this the America you want to live in? And now, Mr. Here We Go himself, PG the OG, Papa Jeff. In a time of universal deceit, telling the truth is a revolutionary act. OG Radio is on the air. This is Papa Jeff's America. I am your host. I'm Papa Jeff, PG the OG. OG weather, high today of 96, overnight low of 78, currently under a tropical storm warning in inland Harris County. It's 93 degrees at the OG Studios near the George Bush Intercontinental Airport in Houston, Texas. Write down our phone number. You're going to need it. 281-940-6980. 281-940-6980. Call us or text us with your thoughts and comments. Now, I wanted to comment to a few things about things that have been shared with me on Facebook, Twitter, text, uh, social media, basically. Some folks are concerned about who and what I have apparently turned into. Yep, who is Papa Jeff? We thought we knew him, but now this... Well, let me tell you, I'm still me, I'm still Papa Jeff, uh, just maybe a little bit more enlightened. Some, one specifically, is literally concerned for my soul. Well, I'm honored, and I thank you, but I can assure you that everything is okay. Most of you know that I even voted for President Trump in 2016, but almost immediately, I started to see a change ranging from financial and administration cronyism to even sex with a porn star. And that was while he was married to our current first lady, by the way. And then paying to cover it up. There's something wrong here. Quite simply, I can't support that guy. He lies, hurts, cheats, and steals from people and then professes that it's okay. Well, it's not okay, and I am speaking out with how and what I feel. Some thinks that makes me a left-wing radical. Well, maybe it does. I simply practice that disagree does not mean dislike. I want to have a conversation and then continue that conversation one podcast at a time. Now that we have the housekeeping out of the way, the Republican National Convention, RNC, or as one young lady on TikTok I saw last night refer to it as the Republican Nutcase Convention, we'll leave that there, uh, was night one. And so today, yep, we decided to do a special broadcast recapping some of the RNC highlights. There were so many, so many head shakers that we couldn't cover it all, but we picked a few that we think you'll be interested in. So let's get into it. So before the convention, President Trump arrived in Charlotte to chance of four more years, four more years. Well, Trump, of course, bathed himself in those and then said it should be 12 more years. Um, that's unconstitutional, dude. You can't do that. Is Trump following the Putin playbook to maybe be leader for life? Now, one of last night's first RNC convention speakers boasted Donald Trump is the bodyguard of Western civilization. What? A teacher spoke and said that teachers' unions are anti-teacher. What? One of the speakers remarked, guys like Joe care more about China and Iran. What? Everything last night was, of course, in the theme of praise Donald Trump, almost like he's a savior. Well, I can guarantee you he's a man, just like every other man. He doesn't have superhuman powers. He is just Donald J. Trump, a man. 
Now, Trump's self-serving remarks with his invited guests in the White House, these were obviously pre-recorded at an earlier date, and of course he used the White House as a set for his promotional campaign stuff, which he's really not supposed to do because, you know, the White House is not Mr. Trump's house. He may be the current resident tenant, but it's the people's house. Now, in that conversation, there was a postal worker, a couple of nurses, one that was almost worshiping Trump. It was very hard to watch. A truck driver who Trump noted that all the truckers are with him. A female police officer who was a COVID survivor, which we are thankful for that. Trump told her that your blood's valuable. Because we all know that the White House pressured the FDA to emergently approve convalescent plasma. Now, Trump, of course, referred to it as plasma. What is that? I was a paramedic for a long time, guys, and I know what plasma is, but I sure don't know what plasma is. Now, most mainstream media, other than, of course, Fox News, which we all know is state television, believes that there is no national platform this year for the RNC. Their plan is pretty much the same as the 2016 plan. Just do whatever Trump is doing. Let Trump be Trump. So there is no plan, and people are jumping ship. MSNBC, who happened to be the network that I was watching last night, which doesn't surprise some, came on during the broadcast, Rachel Maddow, and actually fact-checked in real time about dangerous COVID-related medical information that was being shared. Dangerous stuff. Kimberly Guilfoyle, Don Jr.'s girlfriend, lost her mind with her speech. What was that? She said, you will not recognize this country or yourself. What? Nikki Haley was proud of being born to Indian immigrant parents, and that's great. Wait, Kamala Harris was born to immigrant parents, but that's a problem? Some even wanted to say that Kamala wasn't qualified to be vice president. All that birtherism stuff started by a conspiracy theory that, of course, Donald Trump bought into. Donald Trump stands for America was the basic theme last night, and I'm sure will be for the next three nights. Truth is, Donald Trump has done more for Kim Jong-un than Obama and Biden ever would have thought of doing. Trump did nothing to limit North Korea's development of nuclear weapons. Instead, it was more like a love affair with him and Kim Jong-un. I have a bigger button than he does. Oh, my goodness. They said Biden is going to abolish the suburbs. What? Trump had even said previously that Cory Booker is going to run it. That Senator Booker is going to be in charge of it. Well, we all know that that's Trump speak for the black and the brown and the Asian folks are coming to take over your neighborhood. You know, it's speech after speech after speech, all those Trump speeches, yet there's 178 plus thousand people that are dead because of his failure to respond. There's over 10 million jobs that have been lost. Yet Trump accepts no responsibility and continues to claim victory and credit. Hey, look at me. Now let me ask you a couple of questions, and I think I know your answers, but some are likely to have excuses. But here we go. Is it okay to put children in cages? Is it okay for law enforcement to shoot people in the back? Is it okay for law enforcement to kneel on someone's neck for almost nine minutes? Is it okay to inject people with bleach or implant UV lights in them? Are Vladimir Putin, Xi Jinping, and Kim Jong-un and Turkey's President Erdogan okay? Well, if you think they are in any way, shape, or form, welcome to the Republican Party of Donald Trump. Donald Trump is not, let me say that again, Donald Trump is not representative of my values. Donald Trump is in his own world. He's in an alternate reality, and he's created and taken a lot of you with him into his reality cult. So here's what we need to do. You have to vote, 
and you have to get your friends and your family to vote. This is the most important election in history. Now, if you're not going to vote in person, and we understand some people can't, get your absentee ballot now. No, now, or right after you subscribe to this podcast. Don't buy the election fraud hype. It's just that hype. It's just Trump's attempt to suppress the vote. Now, remember to follow us on social media, Papa Jeff Podcast, Papa Jeff's America. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Do whatever it is you do with Instagram, because I'm still learning that. And keep an eye out for our new YouTube channel that's in pre... uh, We're getting it ready to go right now. Special musical credit today to Madam Snowflake, and you can find her music on ccmixter.org. Call or text us your comments to area code 281-940-6980, 281-940-6980. And remember, you can always email us at papajeffpodcast at gmail.com. So that's it for this broadcast. Remember to take care of each other. Wear a mask. Stay home if you can. Socially distance if you can't. Wash your hands and please remember, please remember, disagree doesn't mean dislike. Because we want you back with us. We want to continue this conversation one podcast at a time. Thanks for listening. Thanks for your support. And we'll see you all next time. Thanks for joining us for the Papa Jeff's America podcast. Papa Jeff's America is recorded live at OG Studios in Houston, Texas, and is a production of Cameron Communications. Special thanks and music credit to Texas Radio Fish, Galveston County, Texas, online at ccmixter.org. Email us your suggestions and comments to papajeffpodcast at gmail.com. Please subscribe to our podcast at papajeffpodcast.buzzsprout.com. Dot com. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thanks again for joining us. We're looking forward to seeing you next time when we continue the conversation one podcast at a time. Thank you.